Is the WWE unifying the United States Championship? On this week's episode of SmackDown, Logan Paul called out Cody Rhodes and challenged him for the undisputed WWE Championship at King and Queen of the Ring in Saudi Arabia on May 25th. However, Cody Rhodes turned it around and said that he has never been United States Champion, and winning the title would make him a Grand Slam Champion. Thus, it seems like there will be a potential title versus title match between Paul and Rhodes in two weeks. However, if Cody Rhodes does win the United States Championship, would he then have two or three titles? Rhodes is supposedly both the Universal and WWE Champion, even though the titles have never been defended separately since they were unified. If Rhodes becomes the United States Champion, will that belt ever be defended on its own, or will it essentially be retired? What it does seem like will happen, is that Cody Rhodes will defeat Logan Paul for the United States Championship, and then start walking around with two belts. I think I have seen this before. If the WWE wanted someone to walk around with two belts, it seems Roman Reigns was already filling that role. Thus, it essentially will mean that SmackDown will only have one singles champion on the men's side, Cody Rhodes. That will be an even worse scenario than when Reigns held the Universal and WWE Championships hostage, because at least the United States Championship was still being defended. However, since Logan Paul won the United States Championship at Crown Jewel in November, he has defended the belt twice, and the undisputed WWE Championship has also only been defended twice. Therefore it seems like SmackDown is becoming the show where titles get won, but rarely get defended making it really starting to sound like the Truby show of the WWE after all.